An economist says there's no way Adani's giant Galilee base and coal mine can deliver the thousands of jobs promised. The state government's decision to grant the Carmichael project mining leases has met loud opposition amid environmental concerns and doubts about its financial future. Stephanie Smale reports. An angry response to the next step towards Australia's biggest coal mine. And it's like the Queensland government can't put two and two together. If you burn more coal, you get global warming and that destroys the reef. Economists are doubtful the giant Galilee Basin mine will happen without help. This mine will only make sense with subsidies from the state government, the federal government. Direct assistance has been ruled out so far. This project can't pay for itself except if someone's willing to give them free rail, free port, free energy supply. We have never recommended any unviable project that needs to be propped up by the government. Questions about the number of jobs promised have resurfaced too. There is no way that this project will create an additional 10,000 jobs or even an additional 5,000 jobs for the Queensland economy. Uh, the, Adani has conceded that in court. We shouldn't be quibbling about whether it's X or Y jobs, but should be just really happy that we've got a project potentially up and running. The state government has stipulated no finance, no dredging. It wants proof the entire project has money behind it before the Abbott Point port expansion goes ahead. The mining sector is confident. India is going to burn coal. Their minister was here a month ago and said they want Queensland coal. Adani needs the green light for a string of other components before the mine can happen. It's still waiting for approvals on a rail line to get the coal to port and power, road and water infrastructure. There are two legal challenges also yet to be determined. The state's resources sector is convinced Adani has what it takes. They wouldn't be doing it to make a loss. Adani is hoping the project will be underway by next year. Stephanie Smell, ABC News.